It's no secret that I'm not going to be around forever here on YouTube. As each ski year passes, I tend to lose more relevancy and I truly only have so much to offer. There's so many incredible other creators on the YouTube platform that have their own skill set, story, and personality to share. With nearly five years on YouTube at this point and over 800 videos posted to my channel, it really does take a lot of courage, vulnerability, and just straight out commitment and hard work to be an active player on the YouTube platform. Not only are we putting our skiing out there for everyone to see, criticize, and quite frankly, just tell us that we suck, oftentimes our personality and just bits of our own personal lives are exposed when posting online to YouTube. It really is easy to just sit on the sidelines, never post a video, and judge the people that you watch, but it truly is a whole nother arena to actually be in the game, actively post, and try to be a contributing member to the whole YouTube ski, YouTube adventure, outdoor type industry. So while I'm not listing the following channels in any particular order by any means, I did try to segment them into categories that I thought were somewhat representative of where I feel like they kind of fall in line, just in order to kind of help you or whatever, figure like, hey, I wanna watch some park skiers or maybe I want X, whatever it is. So they are kind of categorized in their own segment, but by no means am I listing these people in order of like, this is the best, this is the worst. And this is very important. If I did forget a person, an entity, a channel, it is by no means malicious. It is by no means intentional. And I have no ulterior motive with leaving someone out. The first category of this video is just production. I think these people kind of stand above the rest when it comes to just the pure quality of their videos, the cinematography, the shots, things like that. And kicking off this category is Nikolai Schreimer. Nikolai, I believe, is Norwegian or based in the sort of European realm, and he is sponsored by Black Crow Skis, I believe. But the bottom line with him is that he just produces these absolutely movie-type award-winning videos. Not only is he doing some insane touring, he's getting into areas and mountain ranges that I didn't even know existed. He does so in a way that's not only relatable, but also extremely high quality. The drone shots he's able to capture when they are skiing down the mountain are stuff you would see out of a ski movie, but he also adds in bits of vlog and just sort of handheld type footage that I think really ties everything together and doesn't necessarily just make it like a pure ski movie. In a way it feels relatable and something that you could actually aspire to, but he does it in such a professional way that it's hard to take your eyes off the screen. The next person up on this list is Cody Townsend. He is a professional skier, I believe sponsored by Solomon. I'm not sure where he's based out of. It seems like he's just kind of based out of everywhere, but in recent years, he is most known for his 50 series, the 50 series, which is basically where he's trying to ski the 50 most famous descents in North America. So he's really doing stuff that 99% of us people will really never do. But again, similar to Nikolai, he does it in such a captivating, storytelling, rich narrative format that again, it's like the skiing is almost just like the second part of it. Like the actual journey that it takes to get to these couloirs, to ski these lines, is what makes his videos so incredibly captivating. It really is just cool to see the journey behind his ski lines, and he often has a lot of friends and just sort of homies that help him get to where he is. So he kind of really highlights that camaraderie aspect that I think a lot of people are attracted to when it comes to skiing. Third up on this list is Abe Kislevitz. Abe is the senior creative director for GoPro. He's actually one of the original employees and has basically helped develop the GoPro action camera from from the inception, from the beginning. He's based in the San Diego area and frequents Mammoth Mountain as his home mountain. And the reason why I like Abe is I think he truly depicts what a GoPro should actually look like. Not only is he an incredibly fast and agile skier, the footage that he is able to extract from a GoPro is stuff that we should all be striving for. He really does showcase the power of the GoPro action camera, and he truly does take his time to ensure that every piece of content that he delivers is of the highest quality. Not only does Abe post like high quality vlog style videos, he also has a host of tutorials and just sort of ways you can get the most out of your GoPro and also tie that back into skiing. So if you're looking for GoPro type tips and tricks, but also want a channel where you can just enjoy resort type skiing and other cool adventures, Abe Kislevitz is definitely a channel to check out. And lastly, in this production category is Gimbal God. He is our first snowboarder on this list. I believe his name is Spencer White. I don't know where he is based out of, but 
Again, if you want to see what GoPros can really do, this is another channel to really check out. He skis and follows some of the best athletes in the world and skis some of the most incredible lines all while holding a camera. He really is the gold standard for follow cams and it just seems like the footage he gets out of the GoPro shouldn't be possible. He has this kind of cool, almost like ASMR type feeling when it comes to his videos where they are done really well, but oftentimes it is just the pure sounds of skiing and of the powder and stuff like that. So if you're a snowboarder and you're just looking for some just like really solid inspirational follow cam stuff, Gimbal God, AKA Spenny, I believe is the guy you should check out. The next category of creators is reviewers. I am by no means a big review channel at all. So I feel like there are a lot of people who really thrive and do well in this environment. First up is Rickety Ski Reviews. I believe his name is Elliot and he is based in Idaho. And this is, in my opinion, really the go-to for not only like ski review news, but kind of just like industry type stuff. I believe Elliot was an ex-ski racer. I could be wrong on that. So I believe his background is more in that on-piste alpine type environment, but he really has tried a host of different skis, different brands, more than I really ever could. And I believe he fills a nice niche in the ski industry of kind of this really authentic, just kind of like tell it how it is type attitude. He literally like sits in what I think is like his backyard playground and just talks about skiing. So it's kind of this relief of not overly edited, but also very just like authentic in a way, almost abrasive type delivery. But I do believe that it is a genuine sort of cornerstone that is needed in the industry. And following up on our snowboarder board archive is another channel that I really have enjoyed since I started. TJ runs that from Colorado and TJ was honestly one of the first people to ever come up to me and just say, hey man, good job with the videos, like keep it up. TJ does snowboard reviews, but he does them in this kind of like on the mountain type feel where it is a little bit more vloggy. He's out in action showing the board, kind of transports you to the mountain as he's giving these reviews. He does them in a way that's very simple, easy to follow and just kind of straight to the point. I believe he also kind of dabbles in vlogs and stuff like that. So he has this kind of nice mix of like, he has his reviews, but he also has his fair share of just being out on the mountain and kind of adds credibility behind what he's talking about. And last up in this review section is peak rankings. Now. I don't know who this person is. I don't think I've seen their face in any of their videos. I don't even know what their name is, but they do a really great job on basically giving mountain recon. They do a lot of what their channels kind of referred to as rankings, right? They're ranking a lot of different resorts. I believe they've been to a ton of mountains, both on the West, East, Europe. So if you're looking for sort of ski trip planning and want to know sort of the intel on different resorts from an all encompassing type standpoint, um, where I feel like sometimes my resort reviews are very limited in sort of the scope of how I look at them. Peak Rankings does a great job of sharing information about resorts and also similar to Elda, just kind of giving like current events, current news type things within the industry. These final few categories are really more just like vloggers, kind of similar to myself, but they kind of have their own niche within what they do. And this first one is kind of like, more like park skiing. And the first person who comes to my mind is Steep Steep. I believe Steep Steep's name is Nick and he is based in the Canada, BC type area. At the end of the day, Steep Steep's videos are just really easy to watch. He has a really just sort of fun personality and he does a host of videos from going out and skiing park, attending really wicked events like the Audi 9 events and stuff like that. But he'll also just review clips from Instagram and other stuff going on in the ski world. So I think he just really is positioned well to highlight and represent this group of freestyle type skiers, but does so in a great way that just kind of shares the stoke of skiing. And then, like I mentioned, he just seems to be an easy guy to watch. I feel like he'd be really fun to ski with one day. Second up on this list is Bruce Oldham. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. He's actually a Canadian Team Canada freestyle park skier. So I think he's one of our actual pro skiers, competitive skiers. And in a way he's kind of similar to Steep Steep where he'll do a lot of like his own skiing. He'll be in New Zealand. He'll be just like ripping through the park, but he'll also do some sort of reacting to current events and things like that. And again, just is kind of fills this interesting niche and void um, that some people might be looking after. Additionally, he is, like I said, like a pro skier. So he gives like, like cool insights on his competitions and stuff like that. Like just kind of a, a, a different POV type thing to see and 
obviously he's an insane skier so someone that i've kind of stumbled upon and yeah makes just makes some cool videos and lastly in this park category is bag o tricks bag of tricks honestly this homie just makes super chill videos like he's obviously a great skier but he's nothing like super crazy pro or anything like that and his videos are just kind of like this refresher of like what most of us ski like He's way better than me at park and a lot of other things, but what I like about them is that they're not like super vloggy, kind of like my videos can be, but they're not total POV either. So he does this nice job of just like kind of bringing you along for the mountain in this sort of 10, 12, 15 minute type episode. And while he does do a lot of park skiing, he also just loves going out skiing pow and ripping around the mountain. I've seen videos where he's like trying to teach and ski with his girlfriend and just other friends. So for me, Bag of Tricks just does a really good job of representing most of us out there on the mountain. And at at the end of the day just tries to share his passion and love for skiing now the second category to this sort of vlog style is just like i don't know everything else all around <laughs> and the first person on this is casey willax casey is another snowboarder but he's honestly one of my favorite dudes to watch his videos are so like chill but he really takes the time to add the extra flavor in there. His editing is great. I love his music selection. And it's honestly hard to be in a bad mood when you watch Casey Willax. He's one of these dudes where it seems like he has like a million friends all over the, the country. And whether it's surfing or skating or snowboarding, like he really just is out there to share his stoke for his life. And it truly is contagious when you watch it. One of the things I really respect about Casey Willox is like in the summer and spring and that he'll post surf videos. And then in the winter, he'll post his snow videos. He doesn't really, it doesn't look like to me that he really cares what gets more views than something else. He just wants to share what he's stoked about. And like I mentioned, it's really, really easy to watch him and just have a smile on your face. I don't know if Casey is or was a pro athlete of any of his disciplines while he is an insane rider all around it's more just about his energy his vibe and just his sort of attitude that he brings to the mountain next up on this list is rise in alpine james is based out of whistler in british columbia and i really believe he is really the king of youtube vlogs he really has that personality for it that's something that i really find that i lack just sort of like the energy and the stoke and all that stuff i think james is probably one of the best out there at skiing having a good time and showing what all of us are out there to do he's really been able to hit that niche for a lot of people and again it's just like one of those people where you turn on his videos it's easy to watch you have a smile on your face and before you know it 15 minutes have gone by and you're like whoa what did i just watch you know so james similar to casey these there's just these people who have these really charismatic um friendly amicable attitudes that just makes you want just makes you want to be around them makes you want to watch them makes you want to ski with them and i think james has done an incredible job of sort of finding his niche and also really exploiting and taking advantage of his great personality. Next up on this list is another snowboarder, Jonathan Buckhouse. Jonathan, again, is one of the few people on this list that I've met in person, and he really is a great person. Jonathan is one of the original like ski snowboard creators. And if you just look at the amount of work he's put in over the years, it truly is honorable, commendable, and really inspiring. Jonathan does a mix of videos and includes just like vlogs of him snowboarding in Colorado, but he'll also do like tips and tricks and just does a really good job of highlighting his progression over the years and years that he's been snowboarding. Jonathan is one of those people that I often run into early season in Colorado, and he always takes the time to say hello, ask me what's going on with the channel, and just all around encourages me to keep up the, the work and continue making videos. Last up on this list, and I really didn't know where to categorize this person, and I'm likely going to mispronounce his name, so I apologize, but this is Sage Catabraga, Alosa, S-C-A. He is a pro skier. I believe his home mountain is in Bachelor in Oregon, but I've seen videos from Little Cottonwood and other resorts. And Sage has this unique format where he basically puts a GoPro on his head and just follows the best skiers on the mountain. Pro skiers, ex-pro skiers, just not even pros, but just really good skiers. And he just shows you truly how good some skiers are. He has this really cool series that's called Let's Take a Lap With and then The Skier. And he literally, him and someone else or a group of people will just rip down a mountain, hitting huge side hits, hitting cliffs. And because Sage is so incredible himself, he puts the GoPro on his head and he's able to follow these athletes kind of hands-free in a hard charging type way. Something that, again, for most of us will never really be able to do, but it's cool to see it in action and just sort of like this raw POV type 
format. So kind of rounding out this category is SCA, Sage. The last category here are people from my own channel of Stokes Rod, because there are a few people who I've seen put in work, continue to make videos, and for me, that is the most important thing. I often receive emails and DMs from people asking me to shout out their channel, and I'll go to their channel and they'll have zero videos. So I don't really know what I'm shouting out. It's hard for me to tell someone to go support and subscribe to someone else if there is zero, one, two, or three videos on the channel. But the first one that comes to my mind is 88 Ski, also known as Mark. Mark is probably one of the most sincere and genuine people I've had the, the honor to meet and also ski with over the years. Mark is based on the East Coast, I believe in DC. And at the end of the day, just goes out, skis the East Coast mountains and makes the most of his situation. His commitment to get up and drive to these mountains, the effort he puts into the videos and just his general stoke of being out there on the mountain is what I love so much about Mark's channel. Second up on this list is Zach Dowd. I believe he is a young kid, only 15 or 16 years old. So he's really just getting started in this whole journey, but I can tell he has a good heart, good intentions. So I'm sure it would mean a lot to him if we go check him out, send him some comments on his videos and just all around give him some support because at this young age, this is when it's kind of so much of the development really happens. My final shout out is Michael Balelo, I believe is his name. Um, I've seen him around my channel quite often. I actually skied with him for a lap up in Revelstoke and we have very similar styles in the way we like to produce our videos, the music choice we make. So in a way I kind of see a younger version of myself and Michael and I just think it's important to help foster these sort of skill sets and encourage people um, to continue with what they're passionate about. I don't really know why I was super called to make a video like this, but again, I just feel like the least I can do is kind of give back and just spread awareness to some other people in this industry. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am not intentionally leaving out anyone on this list. And if there's someone that I did not mention, please just let's let mention them in the comments um, and just, yeah, help spread the positivity and stoke that way. So as always, thank you guys so much for the support you've showed on my channel over the years to hit 70,000 subscribers is a number that I honestly never thought was gonna happen when I first started this journey. I remember when I first hit a thousand subscribers, building out my van, making van videos, to think that you know years later I would have 70X what I had then really is mind, mind boggling and more than I ever thought was possible. So from the bottom of my heart, as always, thank you guys. I'm excited for ski season and hopefully you guys are too. Take it easy, fam. I'll see you in the live stream tomorrow night. Peace out.